Hi, welcome to LessonsWithTroy.com. I'm Troy Brittany Meyer. On this week's lesson, we're back to the Dobro in open G tuning. So GBD, GBD from your lowest to your highest string. And this is going to be volume number two of my Understanding the Fretboard series. So in volume number one, we covered the key of G. And in this one, we're going to be covering the key of D. So D is in dog. We're going to be going over lots of chords, scales, patterns, um, in both open position and also in nice movable positions that you can move uh, you know, into different keys. So if you're ready, we've got four pages of tablature. It looks like this. Go ahead and print it out and set it on a stand in front of you. And we'll get going with Understanding the Fretboard, volume number two in the key of D. Okay, so before we get going into the tablature, I just wanted to explain why I think it's important to uh, learn both the key of G and the key of D as two of your first keys when you're trying to understand the fretboard on the dobro. Well, in volume number one, like I said, we learned the key of G. Well, if you use a capo, because this tuning is G, B, D, G, B, D on the dobro with your root note on your sixth string and your third string, right? Well, when you use a capo, you can put the capo on and you can play all these different different keys pretty much all the way up to your fifth fret. So in the key of G, because remember your root note of your key is on this sixth string. So you just move it up one fret, that's the key of either G sharp or A flat. Move it up uh, another fret, that's the key of A. Move it up another fret, that's a key of A sharp or B flat. Move it up another fret, that's a key of B and all the way up to your fifth fret, that's the key of C. So you get all those different keys by using a capo. And this is the capo that I'm using now, this Charlie Slide Pro capo, really. Really like this capo a lot. Um, okay, so in the key of D, your root note is not on your sixth string, it's actually on your fourth string. So you get lots of other keys now because you're going to be moving the root of your of your key or whatever when you use a capo up on your fourth string. So a lot of people get confused when playing in the key of D and you can play all these different keys because they're thinking about this sixth string. Well, think about the fourth string and your root being on this fourth string. Okay, so that being said, obviously open, your root is on the fourth string, that's D. Well, if you put the capo on your first fret and you play all these different shapes and scales and whatnot, you know, with the capo on your first fret because you moved it up one fret, that's going to be either D sharp or E flat. Okay, if you move it up to your second fret, that would be the key of E. Okay, move it up to your third fret, that's the key of F. Keeping in mind, the root note is on our fourth string, not on our sixth string, on our fourth string. So those are some great keys already, right? E flat, E, and F. A lot of people don't know what to play in F. Well, if you just capo on your third fret, and you play these all these you know open D shapes, right? But with the capo on the third fret, you're in the key of F. Okay, move it up again, that's F sharp. Okay, move it up again, and you could actually play in the key of G, but with your capo on your fifth fret. So that would it would sound real high, but you know, it'd sound different too. Cool, so that's that's some important information there. So if you can take understand the fretboard volume one, get those shapes down, use your capo. You can play one, two, three, four, five, six keys, right? Do the same thing with this one that we're going to be working with. You can play the same thing, another six keys, um, but with totally different shapes. So it's good to learn the key of G first, I think, and then the key of D. So let's go ahead and jump right on in here to the tab, and, and we'll get going with this lesson.